Hey, myself Stalin. Today we are going to talk about longest common subsequence. So first, let's understand what is longest common subsequence. We have two strings, and we need to find out the common characters in the same sequence, and not really to be very next to each other. Okay, for example, um, so A and B are available in string one, and the same is available in string two. Okay, this can be in a common subsequence, but it's not going to be a longest because we might end up in finding the other one. If you take a G a T A B, we can also find here G T A B. This is one of the longest common subsequence. So the result, if uh, if we given uh, this two string to a program and the uh, and it should it should print out G T A B. Okay, this is the longest common subsequence um, for these two strings actually. So how do we solve, how do we write program for this? So it's simple. There are three uh, use cases we need to think about it. First, suppose when we traverse, when we just need to check whether the string one and string, uh, string one or string two is uh, length zero or not. If any one of the length is zero, that means like we cannot proceed. We don't have any way to find out long and composite. We kind of reach the end. That's the idea. The second is that we need to check whether the character which we are going to check is same or not. If it is same, then we just remove uh, this character from both the strings and take the remaining strings if it is same. Okay. Suppose um, the character which we are comparing uh, comparing is not same. Uh, then uh, then you just uh, need to create a uh, two branches uh, out of this one branch will be like this actually so a and g is not same so that means like we just need to take the remaining character from string one and take the entire character okay this becomes uh, and we need to call we need to provide this as an input to the recursion function this is one branch one. this is branch one branch 2 will have this so this string will remain same here we just remove this character and we will be taking the remaining character and giving it so this is the branch in branch 2 so if you see uh, if you visualize it it becomes in a tree structure whenever there is no match in the character that means like it's going to again create new two uh, branches and then it, it's kind of recursion you can see you can visualize it actually but the question which we need to ask is hey char if character is same then there is no branching because we just eliminate and then just call the same function again if the character is not same then we need to create two branches removing a character from string one uh, and calling the same method removing a character from string two and calling the same method that's how we can find out uh, uh, kind of uh, look for all the combinations and finally we can find out the longest common subsequence okay uh, let's let's talk about how do we write the code I'm going to use the Java programming language uh, let's write uh, public class LCS uh, let's write a couple of utility classes to uh, extract the characters from a string uh, or, or getting a remaining character from a string okay public static uh, string uh, get get character okay get character get first character because we might need this return let's start String zero comma one. Okay. And the second method is get remove first character. Okay. Start string one comma and start. That's it. 
so we'll be writing a max function which will tell like uh, so if we branch out two right like we need to compare which branch is uh, providing a longest common subsequence result and we just to take uh, we just need to uh, take the biggest one so we need a method uh, which just uh, compares uh, which string is longest max um, okay. public static string max this is going to take two string okay and return the longest one then s1 dot length is bigger than s2 dot length that means we just return s1 else we return s2 finally we just read return right oh, that's it so let's write the main method public static not main method now i mean like the longest common function um, string longest common subsequence uh, it's going to take three argument first two are uh, the argument this input element uh, input string and the last one is the one which holds the result as we discussed earlier we just need to find out the string 1 or string 2 is empty or not I mean length is 0 or not s1 dot length equal to 0 or s2 dot length equal to 0 then return result because we kind of reached the end and we don't have anything else to explore the next question is if s1 we just get the we just need to compare the first character of s1 and first character of s2 okay so call get first character of s1 that should be if it is equal to first character of s2 okay that means we find a character which is common in both the string okay then we just get that first character that first character of either s1 or s2 will because both is going to be same <coughs> and we just call the method by removing character from both the string right and remove first character from s1 and remove first character from s2 and result that's it suppose <coughs> so this both condition is not matched that means the character are not same in that case we just need to branch out to and find the maximum um, bigger one and we just need to return that to user whoever called this um, so what we are going to see is like first we call LCS method by keeping the string as it is just removing um, remove first character from S2 the second one is LCS and passing the result second one is uh, remove first character from S1 okay and keep the s2 as it is and the attack the result this should uh, explore all the possibilities to find longest common subsequence so let's write the main method um, the string a result is nothing but LCS of uh, S1. Yeah, let's take okay, let's take the same example. Let's take the same example which we discussed. Okay. and system dot or dot return equal to result 
okay i think we have done let's run and see where java ncs gtab gtab yeah that's right thanks for watching